There we go. Uh, just tidied everything up. Here is your uh, four pill gatekeeper bass amplifier. Already hooked up in operation. And uh, lucky enough, uh, everything is working perfectly mechanically. Everything is working perfectly mechanically. As you see, it's sitting right. If you can see that, uh, sorry, I think my camera's a little blurry. I need to clean it, but it's sitting right there about uh, 19 volts, which is uh, real good. A lot of bass amps can, will be sitting all the way up to 22, 24 volts. Uh, usually that's due to them not having enough filter capacitance and uh, such stuff like that. You gotta uh, work your mathematical formulas, get the proper amount of capacitance in there to filter that uh, uh, DC signal after it's been converted, get the ripple out of it. Go ahead and give you an example of the preamp there. Preamp works phenomenal, phenomenal. It doesn't pull in a lot of white noise, does exactly what it's supposed to do. As you see on my meter, I've got one pound of ground noise. Right there, about one pound. We hit the preamp. Brings you all the way up to a seven. Uh, right there, about a six. Right there, about a six. So, uh, so this preamp guy is giving you about a five to six dB gain. You cannot beat that with a preamp. And if you listen well enough, there, I'm gonna turn the volume up. It isn't pulling in a lot of it isn't pulling in a lot of ground noise at all. See I just turned it off. Turned it on. Off. On. So it doesn't pull in a lot of ground noise at all. And a lot of preamps don't do that. It's a real good design preamp. Um, and um, I also, I tested it out. A lot of preamps, when you um, when you have a really, really loud signal that's putting a lot on you, like I'm talking about, you know, 10, 20 dB on you, with your preamp on, it seems to sound a lot distorted because it's bringing in literally a little bit too much than your receiver can handle. And uh, I just tested it with a buddy of mine. He was putting about 10 or 20 dB on me. Uh, I think about 20 dB on me. And I turned the preamp on, and he sounded just the same. Just the same. And uh, the only difference, he was putting 30 dB on me. So, uh, so uh, that's doing what it's supposed to do there. And uh, just to show you the wattage, we do not have a driver hooked up to this. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't have an amplifier around here small enough to drive this. The only ones in my mobile out there, but uh, ain't no need to go out there and rip that out of there and everything. But um, this is putting about 12 watts, about 12 to 14 watts into this amplifier. Got about a 120 watt dead key. Uh, having having the mic sitting on my knee right here, as you can see, it was already doing 300. <whistles> Crept up there about 375, 400. And uh, I was uh, talking all a while ago for about 15 minutes to a fella, and after it warmed up a little bit, it was uh, as you see, it's talk. I'm talking right now, it's staying about 325 watts. And uh, a while ago, I was talking a little bit there, and it was uh, creeping up to about 400 watts after it warmed up good. So uh, go to another channel here. So uh, 375, 400 watts on a four pill base without without driving it is uh, really good really good you think about it you're putting 12 to 14 watts into it and you're getting right at 400 watts out about 375 to 400 watts out and uh, you go ahead and slap about 7500 watt 
uh, to where she should creep up 800 to 1,000, no problem at all whatsoever. So uh, we got one more function to check out. And uh, let's check out the sideband function. All right there, so got the sideband on. Uh, let's know the preamp does work on sideband. <laughs> that was a uh, one to a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. About six or seven dB on sideband. That's impressive. And as you see, it didn't pull in a whole lot of white noise with it as well, so that's really good. Alrighty, so, uh, key down. That's just me blowing in it. There's me talking in it right there. Hello. 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 There she goes. Uh, wor working real well. Hello. Got a uh, real good, uh, uh, perfect capacitance there for talking. As long as you keep talking, she's going to stay keyed up just like that right there. Hello. Hello. 1883. 1883. Hollering. CQ. CQ. Uh. There we go. Good deal. She's working perfect. Uh, sorry, that's the first time I've even tested it out, man. <laughs> Just real happy she's working the way she should there. Uh, she's actually working a little bit better than my one of my mobile. I got to keep talking to my one of my mobile pretty good there to keep it keyed up. All I got to do is just take it out and add a little bit more capacitance to her, but uh, this one's doing good here. It's still keyed down. Just unkeyed, just saying, all righty. Uh, hello, getting about uh, 350 watts out over on sideband. That's good. I'm actually kind of surprised that it's doing a little bit. Actually, I'm really surprised it's doing exactly as, it's pretty much exactly the same on sideband as it is on AM. That is pretty impressive. Usually, uh, for example, just like my mobile, it's going to do a little bit less on sideband, you know, maybe it might even be like 100 watts less because uh, what it's doing, what the biasing board is actually doing is you're, you're giving up a little bit of wattage for, for fidelity, for linearity. You're giving up a little bit of wattage for linearity. So that's why on a, on a you know, fully uh, biased uh, sideband amplifier, that the wattage for the sideband should be a little bit a little bit uh, lesser than what's on AM. Now, if you have an amplifier that isn't biased for sideband, just has the electrolytic in there, it's going to do the same, or if not more, you know, uh, which is uh, not pure, uh, real, true wattage. So there you go. There is your amplifier, my friend, working exactly the way it's supposed to be working, and that's exactly what I wanted. The only thing I noticed here was uh, that the fans are coming on only when the power switch is on and uh, I'll need to change that um, yeah I'll need to change that to where uh, it comes on uh, right when the transformer is on so we can um, just in case you're using the uh, the box uh, you know, in this case, you're using it as a box as an external power, as a power supply, pretty much. You'll, uh, I guess you'll pretty much know when the, when the box is on, and uh, you won't have to actually turn this on here. I guess it really ain't that big of a deal, but, uh, got some bleeder resistors on there, so that turns off real quick there, too. Well, all right, buddy, here is your gatekeeper for pill. Straight four pill configuration amplifier. And I hope you enjoy. Let me know if you have any kind of issues at all. And we'll get it wrapped up and sent straight out to you, my friend. This is 1883. We're signing out.